the way then for the Queen Mother Champion Chase, two miles, 12 fences to jump. And uh, who takes the first call on the outside? Running freely is Strong Promise. They're at the first, and it was Strong Promise who just led there in the green and white, taking quite a keen hold and not really helping Norman Williamson, although uh, Ask Tom through on the inside. And it's uh, Ask Tom on the inside. Ask Tom the inside of Strong Promise, one and two. Then comes Claire and Davis in third, and Viking flagship Lord Dorset at a steady pace is on the inside. And the back marker, having jumped the first two fences very well indeed, is Martha's Sir. Big horse this Ask Tom, so they're probably going faster than they actually appear to be. It's a giant stride. Ask Tom shows the way to Lord Dorset and Strong Promise. Settle better now in third. Then we've got uh, Viking flagship and uh, on the outside, Claire and Davis. Oh, what a mighty leap the leader gave that one, Ask Tom. Swing left-handed then, and it's Ask Tom who shows the way. To Lord Dorset in second and Strong Promise, the outside shares that position. They race away towards another plane fence fence number four. Viking flagship and the champion Claire and Davis is on the outside of them and Martha's son is at the back of the pack. This is the fourth. Ask Tom. He asked for a big one and he got a big jump there. Ask Tom leads from Strong Promise and Lord Dorset and Viking flagship and then Claire and Davis. And at the back is Martha's son. And here with news on Arctic Kinsman Simon Holt. Well, the early pace is nowhere near as strong as it would have been had Arctic Kinsman uh, taken part. He's a front runner, but there will be no betting deductions as they jump the first down the back, and it was uh, just Ask Tom towards the outside of Strong Promise. Ask Tom in the blue jacket out on the far side, near side, Strong Promise in green and white. And then following in third is the current champion, Claron Davis, then the champion of two years ago, Viking flagship on the outside, near side, blue and grade, Lord Dorset at the back, Martha's son. On towards another, uh, down the back straight, this is an open ditch and at it, Strong Promise just landed in front there from Ask Tom. Claron Davis is nice and close. Uh, given that the early pace has been fairly steady, they want to be too far off it as they run towards another plane fence. Strong Promise, a good jump there. In the eight out about a length from the second horse, Ask Tom, as they climb to the far side. Claron Davis in third place, followed then by Viking Flagship. A big open ditch coming up, a ditch marked danger, heading towards this one then. And it's Strong Promise on the inside of Ask Tom, out wide, Claire on Davis, then Viking flagship, they're all safely over, Lord Dorset is struggling to go with them, Martha's son, still no move from him at the rear of the field and the pace is increasing all the time and it's Strong Promise is injecting the pace into the race now from Ask Tom, they've kicked clear of Viking flagship with Claire on Davis pushed along in fourth and they've got three more fences to jump and Norman Williamson must be feeling confident at this stage on Strong Promise, he has the edge, the pink cap on the outside, Ask Tom look at Martha's son creeping closer the outside of the striped jacket, Claire and Davis Never rule out Viking flagship in the red and white there under Richard Dunwoody, but he died with that one, did Strong Promise. Just what he didn't want to do, ask Tom into the lead again. Ask Tom, Strong Promise, look on the right, Viking flagship, look towards the left, and Martha's son is full of running. This is the second last, at which it was Ask Tom who led. Viking flagship, what a terrier, he is the inside. Strong Promise is in third. Then Martha's son on the outside of that one, sharing that position. But it's Viking flagship who raises the game under Richard Dunwoody, Coming round the final turn. Two in second place, Ask Tom. Back in third is Martha's son. So Viking Flagship, can he win his race yet again? Martha's son is putting in a big finish. This is the last. Martha's son touches down in the lead. Viking Flagship, Ask Tom, giant strides the outside. But it's Martha's son who battles his way up the hill. And it's Martha's son for Tim Forster and Rodney Farron in the Queen Mother Champion chase. It's going to go to Martha's son at the line. Martha's son is the winner. Two in second place, Ask Tom. Tom, third is Viking flagship, fourth home came Claire and Davis, and then Strong Promise, who was a bit disappointing eventually after that mistake, the field trail back to Lord Dorset, who was last of all. And so you just seem to feel there's a bit of justice in this world. Captain Tim Forster, Falking Green in the 60s, uh, got him going at the Cheltenham Festival meeting, and he had a tragic day yesterday. But let's always be positive. Let's look towards the next day. And uh, Martha's son has taken this Queen Mother Championship chase. A 12th winner at the festival, Captain Tim Forster, and the colours of Mr PJ Hartigan, and a first winner at the festival for that jockey, Rodney Farrant. Rodney Farrant. OK? Yeah. <laughs> Rodney, what a way to get off the mark at the Cheltenham Festival. Oh, tremendous feeling. What a horse he's done. He's travelled, jumped very well today for him. Um, I thought I was running away coming down the hill. I met the second last a little bit short, but he's picked up and winged the last. Loved it running up the hill. They say he's a, they say he's a kid's pony at home. He is a kid's pony, two-year-old daughter. <laughs> two-year-old 
kid, not my daughter, I haven't got one. <laughs> a two-year-old could ride him at home, but he's certainly a superstar. Did you think you'd win going up the running? I thought I'd win turning in, going to the last. Yeah, I did. There's a bit of a quiver to the lip here. It must be a marvellous feeling. I'm a bit of a lump in the throat. Just enjoy the applause, really well done. <laughs> A few cheers in the stands and there'll be some cheers back at Downton Hall because this is possibly the most popular horse in Tim Forster's stable. He's uh, obviously Dublin Flyer is the star but well who knows. Now Martha's son who missed a whole season in his first run last season he damaged the tendons and I'm new to him to somebody that uh, the horse in front at this point strong promise wasn't going to finish in the four of four then you could have had any money you liked about that but going to this fence he was almost traveling too well he's come up out of uh, norman's hands half a stride too soon landed on top of it and at that point it uh, left ask tom to just have a slight advantage viking flagship and richard dunwoody they're more or less forced to commit themselves then just to make sure they get a run up the inside and get that um, inner berth but uh, Rodney Farrant on Martha's son he missed that fence out at a crucial stage and then just beginning to peg them back here he's tracking ours Tom and Viking flagship and gets the split between them and don't forget that in his prime Martha's son was involved in some tremendous finishes with Viking flagship and deep sensation so in a sense this was revenge I think this is the first time he's ever beaten Viking flagship uh, but up the hill, suddenly, there's no doubt. The smaller horses on top, pulling away from Ask Tom, and Viking flagships run a wonderful race as usual. But it